Hi, folks. My name is Greg Turner, the radiology coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-rays. It is all too common for patients receiving x-rays to express their angst about getting exposed. Due to historical events and misconceptions, fear is an emotion that many x-ray specialists must circumvent. However, as Mason Cooley once stated, irony regards every simple truth as a challenge. As patients arise in the morning and are getting ready for their examinations, as they drive their vehicles to the clinic destination, they are more than likely receiving some type of natural background radiation. Cosmic radiation is emitted from the sun and solar system. Natural rays penetrate the Earth's atmosphere and douse the planet on a regular basis. This level of radiation is extremely low, and yet it permeates our environment in prolific fashion. Those who live in higher elevations receive significantly higher amounts of cosmic radiation, while those at sea level are less susceptible. Still yet, pilots, flight attendants, and frequent flyers are also exposed to higher levels of radiation due to their proximity to the Earth's atmosphere while traveling. Another source of radiation to the general population is that of radon. Radon manifests as a gaseous radiation that is emitted from rocks, soil, the burning of fossil fuels, and the use of natural gas. Radon is common in low to ground or underground environments. Miners for coal, uranium, and natural resources can be at risk for exposure to this gaseous substance if the air circulation isn't substantial. Radon can also be tracked in large buildings and even basements within houses. Because it originates from the ground, there are some cases where it is found to be in drinking water and some natural foods. Radon gas is a natural occurrence when radioactive elements in the ground break down. As a result, it can occur almost anywhere. It is colorless and odorless, and it is virtually undetectable to the common person. The general population as a whole receives minimal exposure to radon. However, in given circumstances, some are not so lucky. Tobacco and smoking are responsible for significant numbers of lung cancer incidences in the U.S., but there are a number of non-smokers that contract this dreaded condition, and of those, about 30% of the incidences can be attributed to radon exposure. Keep in mind that these are still statistically low occurrences, yet it is important to understand background radiation has a vastly worse track record than medical x-rays. As a matter of fact, in the last century, there are virtually no deaths that have been attributed to radiation exposure from medical exams. We humans receive some type of natural exposure to the elements every day of our lives. If the cosmic rays or radon aren't a significant factor, we still must contend with ultraviolet rays permeating our skin and microwaves from radio towers and within our homes. The solution to these understandings isn't fear. The solution is realizing that our world is full of risks. A man escaping the dangers of society by becoming a recluse in the Colorado Rockies is simply exchanging one set of risks for another. The answer, quite simply, is to keep a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. To look forward to each new day by making good decisions and choosing life. That concludes this segment on where does natural radiation come from? If you like this presentation, please select the subscribe button below this video. You can also tap the bell next to it so that we'll notify you when other great videos have posted. My name is Greg Turner, and I'm the Radiology Coach. And remember, mark my word and mark your films.